Thank you. It is great to be sharing with you at the Global Child Nutrition Forum. Thank you for letting me be a, a participant. I attended the 2018 forum uh, in Tunisia, and it was quite an extraordinary event. I remember being inspired by the passion, the enthusiasm of the people that I met there coming from all over the world. Our shared commitment to school feeding and to transforming the lives of the world's poor, poorest children is more important than ever. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned our world upside down, and the social and economic impacts of this global health crisis has been truly profound. But sadly, as is too often the case, children are among those who have been hit hardest as the virus has swept across the globe. An entire generation has had their education disrupted due to school closures. Uh, even at the peak of the first wave earlier in the year, around 1.6 billion children and young people had been locked out of the classroom. Even today, over 500 million have still not resumed their education. This is a tragedy in itself. But millions of vulnerable children have also had their long-term health development and well-being put at risk because they've missed out on precious free school meals, the only nutritious meal that many of them get each day. At the peak of the pandemic, 370 million children lost out on school meals, exacerbating the threat of a COVID-induced global hunger pandemic. The virus is threatening to rob these kids of their very important future. But at WFP, we're going all out to ensure that that doesn't happen. All the evidence shows that school meals and school meal programs, along with their social protection and other initiatives, are one of the smartest long-term investments any government can make. School meals combat child hunger, support their long-term well-being, and help children learn and help children thrive. This is especially true for little girls. Where there's a school meals program running, girls stay in school longer. Child marriage rates go down and teen pregnancies fall and their opportunities go up. So WFP's country teams are working with governments worldwide to reopen schools safely and to make sure the health, food, and nutritional needs of the poorest children are being met. Schools and school meals are especially important for children living in conflict situations because they help them get back in the classroom and contribute to building peace and social cohesion. Last month, WFP was truly humbled and honored to be awarded the 2020 Nobel Peace Prize. This award recognizes that ending hunger is a critical first step towards peace. It is also a critical step toward better education and learning for these children who have already lost so much. Now, I know many governments are facing incredibly difficult choices as national budgets have shrunk due to the pandemic, but it would be a mistake to cut funds for education. Getting vulnerable kids back into school requires programs to help ease the severe financial pressure many families are under right now. And that means substantial investments in school-based health and nutrition services. WFP, we are committed to playing its full part in this very important agenda and we look forward to working with you all to scale up the support necessary for poor children around the globe. Together, we can assure that no child, regardless of where they live, goes to school hungry, or worse, doesn't go to school at all. After the turmoil of recent months, we must seize the opportunity to start building the better world that we all want to see. And our task, it starts today. Thank you.